my testimony in all that I go through. Somebody said why? I said because
Hallelujah. Mm, thank you, Father. Oh, Father, we're just so grateful this evening. We come before you with grateful hearts. and Father, we just thank you for bringing us through this day. And Father, we thank you for the opportunity to gather together in your presence even right now. Father, we thank you for two of us gathering together in your name, you would be in the midst of us. You said if two or three, Father, and also you said if we are, if two of us come into an agreement, asking anything, it shall be done for us of our Father in heaven. And so, Father, we come to you today, and we're so grateful. Again, we thank you for this time of prayer. For even right now in your presence, there's fullness of joy. So, Father, this evening, we lift our voices in praise and worship. And we ask that you would inhabit our praises. That your presence would fill this place right now, Father. And that we would be intentional as we're praying to you, Father that our hearts would be drawn closer to you. And so, Father, as we come this evening, we want to enter your gates with thanksgiving and your courts with praise. Hallelujah. And we give thanks to you and praise your name, for the Lord is good. For the Lord is good and his mercy endureth forever. And your faithfulness continues through all generations. Hallelujah. So, Father, we thank you again. We're so grateful as we meditate on your word this evening. We come before you with our hearts. Hallelujah. Full of praise. And so we're lifting our voices, Father, even right now. We declare that you are good and your love endures forever. Your faithfulness continues through all generations. Father, we're grateful for the opportunity to, to gather in your presence, to lift up your name and to experience the joy that comes from worshiping you. And so, Father, we recognize that praise is not just something we do, but it is who we are. In every season, we vow to praise you. Hallelujah whether we're experiencing ups and downs, times of joy and abundance or walking through valleys of difficulty and pain. 
we say this evening that our praise remains steadfast. And your word reminds us that even when the fig tree does not bud and there are no grapes on the vines, we will rejoice in you, our Savior. Hallelujah. And so we know that our circumstances do not dictate our praise. Our relationship with you dictates our praise. And so we thank you for the relationship that we have with you, Father. We're grateful. We're grateful for the relationship we have with you, Lord. And so, Father, this evening we commit to to blessing you at all times. Hallelujah. Your praise shall continually be in my mouth, Lord, be in our mouths. And so we understand that our praise is not dependent on how we feel, but on who you are. Father, you are our rock, our redeemer, our refuge. Hallelujah. And so we thank you, Father. We thank you for being the same yesterday, today, and forever. In the good times, in the bad, we lift our voices and declare your greatness. Hallelujah. And so, Father, we thank you that you have overcome the world. We thank you, Father, that you told us to, to not fret, do not worry, for you have overcome the world. And so this evening, we're filled with gratitude as we reflect on your benefits, your benefits for us, Father. Your word tells us to, to bless you and not forget all your benefits. And so we thank you that you forgive all our sins and, and you heal all our diseases, Lord. And so we thank you that you redeem us from the pit and crown us with love and compassion. And you satisfy our desires with good things so that our youth is renewed like the eagles. Hallelujah. We're so grateful for your word today. As we remember all that you have done for us, our hearts overflow with thanksgiving and praise. And we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We're so grateful. We praise your name today, Father. And we come against the enemy this evening. But we recognize the power of praise in the midst of trials. Just as the people of Judah praised you when facing an army and that was set to ambush them. But Father, you caused them to triumph over the enemy because of their praise, hallelujah. And so Father, this evening we know that our praise, hallelujah, causes us to triumph over the enemy. In the face of our challenges, Father, we praise you. Our praise confounds the enemy and brings about victory in our lives. Oh, we're grateful today. Praise shifts our focus from our problems to your greatness. Hallelujah. In the midst of it all, Father, we will worship you, knowing that you're working all things together for our good. And so, Father, we thank you that you are moving and working in our midst as we praise you. As we continue to give you glory, Father, we thank you. We make a vow this evening to praise you, Father, that we will not murmur and complain, but we will give you glory, that we will open our mouths and, and, and shout praises to you, Lord. We commit to lifting our voices in worship, not just in this moment, but in every moment of our lives, Father. Our praise is a response to your goodness and your faithfulness, Lord. Hallelujah. It is an expression of our love to you, Lord, and our gratitude. 
So we thank you today. We owe everything to you, Lord. And our hearts are filled with thanksgiving. For we know that you have made it possible, Father. We're in your hands and nothing and no one can pluck us out. We're so grateful today, Father. And so, Father, we ask that you would help us to live lives marked by continuous praise. So we ask that every situation we face be an opportunity to declare your goodness and your faithfulness. And so we thank you for that today, Father. We thank you for calling us out of darkness and bringing us into your marvelous light. Thank you for bringing us into the kingdom of light, Father, that we truly get to represent you in your kingdom. And Father, we thank you that we're not living lives to please our flesh, but we're living lives to glorify you. And so we thank you for that today, Father, for you have given us everything we need for this life in godliness. And so we know that you're in control and you're working all things for our good, Father. And so let us surrender our wills this evening, Father. Let us surrender our way to your way, for your ways are higher than our ways. And your thoughts are higher than our thoughts, Father. Let us trust you. Let us trust you, Father. Let us not try to walk by sight, but, but walk by faith and believe that your word is true, that you have a plan for us and it's not to harm us, but to give us hope in the future. For you know the plan you have for us, Father. Let us trust you as we praise you as we glorify you, Father, let our lives be a testimony of your greatness and a reflection of our relationship with you. Let it be evident that we have a relationship with you, Lord, not just that we have accepted Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, uh, but let our, our lives be a reflection of our relationship with you. And as we live each day, Father, let us live to glorify you. And so, Father, we thank you that we're mindful of our actions. We're mindful of the words we speak, for we know that life and death is in the power of our tongue. And so, Father, we thank you that you have given us what we need to be victorious. And we thank you for giving us all the power that we need today, Father. You've given us power over all the power of the enemy. And so, Father, let us be mindful of the, the ruckus that is going on in our lives that the enemy is coming to steal, kill, and destroy. But you have given us what we need to, to have all the power over the enemy. And so, Father, you have given us the, the keys to the kingdom. And so we bind the enemy even right now. You said, whatever we bind on earth is bound in heaven, Father. So we bind the enemy right now. We come against every spirit that is not of you right now, Father. And we come against the demonic curses and covenants even right now, Father, in the name of Jesus. And so we thank you that you have called us out of darkness. And so, Father, let us praise you. Let us worship you that we may live victorious, Father, that we may continually, continually bless you, Lord. David said, I will bless the Lord at all times. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord at all times. We will bless the Lord at all times, and, and your praise shall continually be in our mouth. Hallelujah. So we thank you for that today, Father. We're grateful. For it's in you that we live, move, and have our being. And we thank you. There's nothing that you're not aware of that's going on in our lives today. And so, Father, let us operate in dominion and authority that you've given unto us. Let us get into the right position, Father, that we may be able to operate in the earth in authority 
And so we thank you for that today, Father. We thank you that we can bring our concerns and our cares to you and that you hear us and you answer them. So, Father, even now, we thank you for your divine intervention. We ask you to interfere in, into our affairs, Lord. And so we thank you that we would do our part and we would trust you to do the rest, Father. And so we praise you this evening. So as we go from this place this evening, Father, let our lives be, be again marked by continuous praise. And again, let us take advantage of the opportunity, the moments to lift up your name and to declare your greatness. And so we praise you today, Father. Thank you for being with us. And thank you for curses being broken over our lives. And we thank you for delivering us and setting us free, Father. For where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty, there is freedom. And whom the Son sets free is free indeed. And so we thank you for that freedom today, Father, that we have in Christ Jesus. And we're so grateful today, Father, that we're not bound by the enemy. We're not bound by the things of this world. Hallelujah. And so we praise you for just all the wonderful things you're doing in our lives. And we give you glory this evening, Lord. We love you. Keep us safe this evening, Father. Give us rest in our bodies as we continue to praise you, continue to give you glory, as we continue to worship you, as we continue to speak of you in our homes and at the table that we talk about you, Father. Praise is what we do. And so we thank you for that today. We give you glory and honor. May our praise be a, a sweet fragrance unto you, Lord. And may it draw us closer to your heart. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, we give you glory, God. We're so thankful. And we bless your holy name today. And we give you glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. And thank God. Amen.